So, got some work done on what I'm calling the auklet. It's A-U-K-L-E-T. It's some native California bird. I just needed some name for it in my file, so that's what I'm calling it. I got the fuselage sanded up pretty much. It looks pretty rough, but everything's going to get spackled. Like, all the corners are going to get fillet, fillets of spackle, and then it's going to get wrapped in paper. But I got the servo wires. I got the jet booster wires. They're all going up into that fuselage box. I've got um, my spars in. I'm... Underneath I've got spars going up to the nose and right now I'm just working on gluing some basswood to the trailing edge where the uh, elevons are going to uh, connect. I found that these are really twisty. There's just not a lot of stuff out there. And if we flip it over, you can see the got spars going to the nose, wires coming out. And then uh, it's going to get covered in some 60 pound, whoa, as I almost fall over, some 60 pound construction paper and white glue. So that should be pretty strong, kind of a pain to do, but it's cheap and easy. Watered, get watered down white glue, just like I did my big F100. So in preparation for covering, uh, I still haven't decided if that's going to be paper or fiberglass, but I've covered both sides with spackle, kind of got all the low spots that also let me do some nice kind of blending in the corners. And then I just got to kind of lightly sand that off. It sands off real easy and then cover it and then paint and all the fun stuff. You can still see I left spots where the, the jet boosters are going to go, which are going to be some of these car brake light LEDs. They're super bright. Oh, yep. One more thing. Should the Elevons follow the trailing edge or should they jut out like that? Let me know. <laughs> Working on <clears throat> my space jet. Still got to put the elevons on, but just trying to figure out these jet booster things that will hold the elevons on at about a 45. I'll be sinking some hardwood into the foam there. And that'll be threaded for some quarter 20 nylon bolts. And then on the bottom, I gotta hog out some foam so that these go in there flush. Anyways, glue that down, paper over it so it matches when I paint. Yep. Getting exciting, almost getting to color. <laughs> getting there, getting there. Okay, so the idea here is that there'll be a frosted acrylic box that sticks out about that far so it'll look like jet boosters in the back. This is this video is not really showing how bright this is. These are automotive brake lights. They're ridiculous and really bright. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. Can't wait to paint. One reason I uh, chose this color uh, at the hardware store was I would like to do panel lines with these silver Sharpies as I kind of did on my original design. And I think it's going to 
turn out well. It's not going to be too too much of a, not stand out too much. If I, yep, it kind of, I think that's going to come out perfect. These other ones I'm going to do, uh, let's see, vinyl. I think, yeah, this is getting to the fun part. Still got to paint, paint these guys, but I was worried about putting them on in the correct orientation if I painted over my orientation mark, so I'll paint them tomorrow. Just getting a look at uh, what these vertical stabilizers are going to be like on the back. I am making them removable because, man, in a hard crash, <laughs> that's going to be the first thing that gets ripped off. I think it looks pretty cool. Can't wait to put the canopy on, do all the... Uh, all the lines and the graphics there's gonna be a uh, nylon bolt that goes through there so that can hopefully rip off not <laughs> rip the jet pods out cool Some pinstripes down, got some vinyl on there, got a couple spots I gotta fix later, pretty happy with that. Tomorrow I will do some of these decals, got them already cut out on the Cricut. Pretty cool. Pretty happy with that. It's not perfect, but pretty darn happy with that. Doing a little <clears throat> battery testing on here. Kind of had no idea how long these batteries would last powering these lights so got a timer going i'm currently hitting about 12 minutes and we are at let me see 4.02 volts per cell for that 12 minutes so other thing i was kind of worried about is how hot are these going to get is the hot glue but even after 12 minutes i can leave my fingers on there it's it's pretty hot and now I'm gonna take my fingers off. But in normal flight, there's gonna be wind going across these little things. So I think, I think that'll be fine. <laughs> Just doing one of the vertical stabilizers. Got the nylon bolts going through. Feels like it's connected pretty good. So, just gotta do the other one right there. So I made these little uh, diffusion boxes, or I made one, I need to make a second one. And it's just, it's just some acrylic that I bent around a shape with the heat gun and then frosted but I think it'll I think it'll add something in the air I might just leave it open in the back I'll just let you see the jets more from like the sides and the top and the bottom when it's flying around <laughs> 